Hello everyone. So some videos here showing Russian losses near Terny and Yampolivka. This video was shared online a few days ago, but I've only just got round to doing a video on it. This isn't a long video, but it features a lot of destroyed vehicles, all of which are seen being hit by FPV drones. Now not all of the vehicles we can see in this clip can be confirmed as destroyed, but they're certainly damaged and in many cases abandoned. But a few of them can be chalked up as destroyed, as we see a few nice big explosions as the vehicle in question detonates. Some of the drones are hitting already abandoned vehicles to finish them off, but we also see a number of drone strikes hitting moving and clearly active tanks. Among the vehicles in this clip, we see four T-90Ms, which is Russia's most modern tank deployed in Ukraine. We also see a number of BMPs and other tanks. So, a pretty good haul. At least 10 vehicles destroyed, possibly more. So, let's see where this was. Now, I don't have the geolocations for every vehicle seen, and as there's a lot of them, I'm using colours here. So reddish is for the T-90Ms, blue for armoured fighting vehicles, yellow for other tanks. I've also added a screenshot near each marker, to make it easier to tell which is which. So this first section from left to right, we have a T-80BV with a little coke cage. Moving right along the road, three very close to each other. We have two BMPs and a T-90M here. The T-90M was hit whilst moving. Continuing right, an abandoned T-90M which was hit by a drone on its side. This was facing back towards Russian lines, so lightly hit whilst retreating. A little bit along, there's another T-90M. This one looks like it may have got stuck in the mud, but the footage is hard to tell. This was facing north when hit. Moving further along, a T-90M again and a BMP. So eight vehicles geolocators destroyed along this little stretch of road, including four T-90Ms. Two more geolocator losses here. These in a slightly different location. Here, an unknown tank and a BMP. These look like they may have got stuck in the mud and abandoned when the drone came to finish them off. So let's zoom out. So you can see these final two that we looked at are quite far from the others. I wonder if these may be unrelated to this offensive or we could have been provided fire support, or even B vehicles from the column, which got bogged down in the mud and abandoned early on. You can see here that this armoured column was advancing towards a settlement called Terny in Yampolivka, and given the presence of T-90Ms, this was quite a substantial push towards this area. These are Russia's best tanks, the word best doing a lot of heavy lifting there but these are certainly not the type of tank that Russia would be wasting on unimportant missions. They're certainly a step up on the T-72s and the T-80s. These were all along the road highlighted, so this armoured column didn't even make the front lines before being destroyed. I think the technical term for a mission like this is cock-up. On the downside, the location here does make it feasible that Russia can recover these vehicles. If these were hit on the front lines, it would likely be too risky for Russia to send in an engineering vehicle to tow them away. So hopefully Ukraine could finish these off, or better yet, wait for the recovery vehicle to arrive and hit that as well. The push here is part of the ongoing Kremlin offensive, or at least people call it that, despite Kremlin being occupied by Russia, but that is the key settlement in this region. Turning and Yampolivka are Russia's current targets. You can see they are quite vulnerable, and that if Russia captures these, they will be very difficult to dislodge because of that natural barrier of ponds and reservoirs to the rest of them. So that's it for this video, hope you found it interesting. Now before I finish, I'm going to play a video from the Ukraine Volunteer Centre about the ongoing fundraiser with them. Big thanks to everybody who's donated so far, thanks very much and take care everybody. Greetings from the Ukrainian Volunteer Centre. Today we have to announce an urgent fundraising. The brigade that is destroying the occupiers in the Donetsk sector urgently needs cars. Nissan Navara Diesel of 2008. These guys have been defending our country from the Russian invaders since the beginning of the full-scale war. After the shelling, they have almost no cars left, and now it's winter and it's very difficult to move around without a car. We also need 4,000 liters of diesel fuel for the 3rd separate battalion of Ukrainian Volunteer Army Volink. Also, spring uniform is required, assault vests with quick release system, etc. The goal of fundraising is $24,500. We realize that it's a lot of money, 
and at the same time we ask for understanding for our situation. If everyone donated at least $50, we would close the fundraising in six hours. Indeed, each of your donation is a lifesaver and matter of our country liberated. We will send three sets of glasses with the symbols of our foundation to three people. Two sets of glasses for people who made the biggest donation and the third set will be randomly drawn among people who have made a donation of $50 or more. All the reports of PayPal and cryptocurrency will be available as usual after the fundraising. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for being with us. With love, Himuke. From Ukraine.